All right, we are out here at a no cool call. Customer said occasionally this system, the outdoor unit, will go on and off, on and off, on and off. So check the water safeties, pressure switches, and things. Everything's been running uh, consistently, not shutting off. So I threw the gauges on the unit. Here's what I'm looking at right now. This is a 410A system with a TXV. It's about 86 degrees outside, about 80 degrees inside. And we are screaming. You see our head pressure still climbing. 34 degrees of subcooling. And no superheat. So, I was kind of giving it a few minutes to see if it would steady out. But I uh, went ahead and got a recovery cylinder out. So what I do when I find an overcharged system like this is I just get a recovery cylinder. Some guys will actually get a recovery machine and start recovering refrigerant. I typically just get recovery cylinder. Open her up. It's already got some refrigerant in it, so I'm just gonna, not that it's super critical for a recovery cylinder, when you're not gonna be using the refrigerant again, if you wanna bleed. Just bleed that off, and then we'll just go ahead, and this is what you're opening when you're charging the system. This is what you're gonna open when you're blowing off an overcharge. See, we're running 35 degrees of subcooling, 450 head pressure. So all we're going to do is just open up our high side. It's probably hard to hear over that with the uh, fan blowing. But we'll just open that up and blow some of that charge off. It's also good to weigh it. As you saw, I don't have a scale out here right now. Um, but it's also good to weigh it just so you know how much the unit was overcharged, but I'm not too worried about that right now. So, and just do it a little bit at a time. You gotta let the TXV sort of work its way out. Those are numbers since I blew out that charge. And again, those pressures, if you look at them, they're gonna come right back up again. You'll watch them slowly rise again. So, we'll just do that a couple times. Try to get our subcooling down into range. And again, this is a TXV, so we are looking at our data tag here, which is going to give you our TXV subcooling requirement, which is 11. So, that's the number that we're shooting for for our subcooling and then we'll keep an eye on our superheat because we obviously do want superheat but yeah i'm gonna go ahead and blow a little bit more charge off of this thing and uh, see if we can get the numbers a little bit better than what they currently are stop this thing from cycling on high pressure all right guys so this is what we've got now as you can see our subcooling is way down calling for 11 we've got 6.8 head pressures down by about 130 psi so we actually found the underlying problem somebody has came in here and overcharged this system because the TXV is stuck open so the TXV is wide open as you can see we don't have any superheat um, technically it's showing that I have a slight negative in superheat which is not really possible but uh, we're just going with zero superheat so we are getting liquid back to our compressor but what I'm guessing is that somebody came out here, they were just focused on pressures, not super heat subcooling. They had a low evaporator temperature, low suction pressure, and uh, they just packed this thing full of refrigerant to get their evaporator above freezing, and in doing so, grossly overcharged this unit. So once we pulled out, uh, again, I wasn't weighing the refrigerant, but I'm guessing I pulled no less than three pounds of refrigerant out of this thing. and. Uh, these are the numbers that we're looking at so when you go to fix one problem especially on an overcharge a lot of times you'll stumble across the original problem so that's why it's always good to check super eat and subcooling anytime you put gauges or adjust refrigerant charges because um, this could have uh, saved somebody wasting their time dumping a bunch of refrigerant in here so what we're going to do is quote a new TXV filter dryer 
recover all the refrigerant in it, put virgin refrigerant back in, and uh, go from there, see what our numbers look like. But that is what we've got going on here. We have a TXV that is stuck wide open. So hope you enjoyed the video, guys. Thanks for watching. Comment below, and we'll see you on the next one.